the human digestive system, the esophagus, and the stomach. Objectives To explain the movement of food in the esophagus, to describe the process of digestion in the stomach. The process of digestion begins inside the mouth. The teeth break down the food into smaller particles. It then gets mixed with the saliva in the mouth to form a slurry mass called bolus. As the food is swallowed, the soft palate blocks the upper throat called the pharynx, which prevents the entry of food into the nasal cavity. When the food passes over the epiglottis, which is a flap-like structure which prevents the entry of food into the trachea, it pushes down the epiglottis the food then enters the food pipe, or esophagus, which connects the pharynx to the stomach and is gently pushed down to the stomach by wave-like muscle contractions and relaxations known as peristalsis. When the food enters the stomach, a J-shaped bag-like structure, mucus, hydrochloric acid, and digestive juices that are present in the stomach act on the food to help digest it through chemical action. The mucus membrane protects the inner wall of the stomach from the effects of the acid. The hydrochloric acid kills the bacteria that enter along with the food and also helps in the digestion of proteins. The digestive juices start breaking down the proteins present in the food into simpler forms. Muscular contractions in the stomach churn this food mass to further break it down and mix it with secretions in the stomach to form a thick liquid. This thick liquid is called chyme. The chyme exits the stomach through peristaltic movements and enters the small intestine where most of the digestion occurs. To summarize, the muscles of the esophagus gently push the food down to the stomach by wave-like muscle contractions known as peristalsis. The stomach cells secrete mucus, hydrochloric acid, and digestive juices that help digest food through chemical action. Digestive juices break down proteins into simpler forms.